Hey, so uh, today I want to show you this tool for making presentations I made. It's actually on my GitHub and it's called Hypernode. And what it is and what is this, what is so cool about it is that it's a single standalone HTML document which holds um, the styling of the presentation and also the key bindings and uh, manipulation with JavaScript. And I will quickly jump into the into the GitHub pages to show you what it's like. So if I open that in here, I got the nice full screen presentation with the page counter and stuff. And if I open it uh, in a full screen, let's just, yeah, the, the, the demo presentation is actually the manual itself. So you can see that you can use the uh, Vim key bindings to move up or down. So if I go, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I have a problem with the, with the Vim Vixen extension, but it's just the issue of, of this, uh, of this browser. So I can go down easily. I can go back usually with a space under arrow keys or uh, J and K. And mouse is disabled for many purposes. Uh, it's disabled because it's a visual noise. It's also disabled because uh, if you are doing the presentation on the laptop, um, you can easily move the scroll bar uh, up or down a bit, and you would mess out with this scrolling made with JavaScript. Uh, but if you need the mouse to start a video or click on something or show something on a on a projector, you can just simply press C, and you get the mouse. You can select stuff and do whatever you want. You can't scroll. So I toggle it back, and on the next screen you can see that uh, there is uh, there is the C, but you can also press the letter P, which will toggle the the page count at the corner, and you can press R to get to the back, uh, get to the uh, get to the top, and um, you can use uh, HTML uh, unordered or ordered lists uh, as uh, as natively as you know. Uh, you can use images and it will align them automatically uh, by the uh, it will align them in the row if you set if you, if you tell it to and it will auto size them uh, depending on the amount of the images in the single row so if I have seven here you can see it's sized to the seven fractions here it's just the three fractions or you can just have a one single image on the full screen. You can even have a video. Uh, it will automatically size based on the video size. And yeah. And here is just a little cheat sheet on how to do it. And if we, so this was, this was it. You can use it as a normal presentation. And the trick uh, and the all magic, if I can call it the magic, as in the in the HTML file, I also have the folder files, but you can have any folder if you want. And the folder just uh, hosts the images or videos if you need them to to use. If you don't want to uh, point from the external external address of the media, so if you go into the into the index, at the it's just a regular HTML file. So here we have a. If you have here we have a styling inside the embedded style CSS elements for the for the graphics and here it's actually divided into sections so every section element is a new slide and everything in it is are the elements on the slide themselves and it's set to section is set to use uh, 100 viewport height units which means 100 which means just 100% of the viewport height. So every section is just one full page of your uh, display monitor. And you can see I use native uh, headings, uh, paragraphs, lists, images. And if you actually, because the nature, natural uh, flow of the section elements is to go from top to the bottom, I uh, because of the flex CSS flex uh, engine, 
I actually had to implement that to use for people to use diff uh, diff row diff class row for everything you need to be aligned from left to right instead of from top to the bottom. So it's it goes from left to right if you if it's around if it's inside the wrapping diff called row in its class. So I use it with the seven images and with the three images, and the row itself uses uh, also flex and justify content space evenly. And if you don't specify it, the the default attribute for flex direction is row. So that's why it's in row. But if you go to the section, you can see that uh, I had to manually change it for column. So for example, heading and paragraph goes from top to the bottom. And at the very bottom of this document, yeah, you do every manipulation you do, you do it inside the body. So you create sections inside the body and you link the image sources to the your folder and the name as easy as that and it will auto size them and then here it ends it ends with the page number diff which uh, holds the page number and uh, here is the script that just handles the keystrokes the keystroke manipulation and it also uh, yeah counts the pages and it just it does the scrolling for the so so every time you press the keys it scrolls down or up uh, by it it moves the viewport to the next or previous section just basically and here are the next stuff this is like a very very basic kickoff version but i actually hosted a presentation at the office for a, for a two hour presentation and i used this to do to do it so yeah, I just, I just wanted to show you what you can use. Uh, you can check my LibreWolf uh, GitHub. It's there on the Hypernode uh, repository. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's it for today's video.